Hi, I'm Eve with The Baby's Booty. Our video today is going to be super exciting for me because a lot of times 4x4 users kind of get the short end of the stick. Uh, we're stuck with our 4x4 hoops and we do have the repositional hoop, but aside from that, and there is one other type of hat hoop out there on the market, we're limited, but we have something new available to us and I'm super excited to share that with you today. We now have access to a magnetic hoop. How awesome is that? Come on, join me as we unbox our hoop and give it a test stitch out. So here we have our magnetic hoop for our 4x4 machine. Now, I also have the regular 4x4 hoop right here with us so that we can do side by side comparisons. Uh, so I will set that right here. Let's open this puppy up and see what our magnetic hoop looks like. So this actually, it does say that there's an embroidery area of 4x4 and it's compatible with machines, uh, the SA432, not sure which machine that is, but I have the SE425. I also have the SE400. I also have the PE500. All three are four by four machines. And this hoop, the regular hoop fits on all three. So this should fit on all three as well. Uh, when we open the box, uh, we have our Sotec instructions. They're right here. And then we have our hoop. All right, so let's pull it out. I'm so excited. <laughs> and woo, here we have our magnetic hoop and the grid to line up our embroidery designs with on our fabric so here is the four by four hoop um it comes with four magnets it feels a little fuzzy on the top so that i am assuming is to help grip the fabric okay or whatever it is that you're using on here that helps keep it from sliding around because if it was a slick surface it would slide and the magnets are sticking to this pretty tough uh, as you can see, it, it's not playing any games with the strength of our magnets. As far as the hoop itself is concerned, this is metal, of course, because the magnets stick to it, but it's a heavy metal. It's not flimsy at all. The bracket for this is the exact same as it is with this particular hoop. So I am sure this will fit and I have the machine right here so we can test it really quick and see if it clicks in place. And there we go, it does click in place. So that's good to know. It will fit our brother four by four machines. How awesome is that? Um, there's also a little uh, plastic strip on the back and it looks like it's just giving it a little more leverage to hold it level on the embroidery machine on the opposite side. So that's good. Uh, but overall, thus far, I'm pretty impressed with it, especially the sturdiness because one of the things uh, I definitely know is when we're doing our embroidery, we can get pretty vigorous um, and constant use. We need something that's going to last and not break. So this doesn't feel like it's going to break anytime soon. So that's a good thing. Our embroidery grid is pretty well laid out just like it is on the other embroidery machine. Uh, and it has indent, well, not indentation, but raised lines here to allow the grid to lay on top of those lines to help you line it up in the hoop and i'll bring it closer so that hopefully you can see the lines uh, on the hoop for the grid to sit on and let's check our instructions all right so um you definitely want to make sure that it is compatible with your machine and they say that they suggest use high quality stabilizers with our hoop it says that we can embroider on quilts or other projects where we do not want hoop burn basically on the material so that's an awesome thing we definitely don't want hoop burn on a lot of our projects so 
that's going to be good. And I do have a towel here uh, that we're going to practice on and see if we can't uh, get something embroidered on it and avoid hoop burn. I'm excited about that. And it says it comes with a set of four magnets, which we have here. Um, when you're not using the magnets, it says that you store them on top of each other like this, not on the hoop because it can damage the surface, the flock surface of the hoop. So that's good to know. It also says that if we want extra magnets, they are available at the company. So that's good to know if you want it more than four, just in case you drop one or lose one or want extra reinforcement around the hoop. So that's good to know. And it says not to use outside magnets or additional types of magnets because it can scratch the surface of the hoop. It does give some good information on how to embroider with the hoop but we're gonna go ahead and have fun with this and not worry about those <laughs> instructions today so we're going to go ahead and try a project with this like i said we're gonna hoop the towel and see how well we can get that done now ordinarily you would be hooping with this and trying to line it up and making sure that the hoop is tight enough or loose enough and fooling with that well we won't have to worry about that anymore if you're going to be using the magnetic hoop all right so let's get started I can only see positive things with this um, especially when it comes to in the hoop projects it'll be easier to get to it not uh, the hoop ridge in the way you can do uh, freestanding lace and the way the surface feels on the back is a good possibility you could use sticky stabilizer on here and be able to use your sticky stabilizer with this without having to use magnets possibly so this is pretty neat we'll see what all we can do with it but meanwhile we'll go ahead and get started with a towel what we're going to do is go ahead and mark our towel where the embroidery is going to go. I'm just going to use one letter off of the machine. And I am going to draw a center line uh, like I normally would do. And I'm going to use my water soluble marker uh, to put a line there. And it's five inches with this ruler. So I'm going to move it over a little bit and mark the center, which is at two and a half, and put a straight line there so that I'll know where the center is. All right, hopefully you can see that. Here's a close up of our line where I'm going to put the embroidery. All right, so ordinarily we would uh, hoop it with the regular hoop. Okay, and we would put the main part down, then we would get the stabilizer, then we would lay the towel over the top, uh, try and get that lined up. Um, and straightened out in the hoop and it could be moving the stabilizer up under it then we'll get the center hoop and put that on with our grid fit that in place then line it up with the marks that we have on the towel trying to get everything lined up just so is is and getting it to fit and it's not still not quite centered but that's what we'd have to go through and trying to get everything squished together it's just drama so let's let's take all of this and move it off to the side and, and we'll check and see how this is going to look completely different using our magnetic hoop all right so here's our magnetic hoop um we're going to lay it just right here put the stabilizer down um and then let's lay out our towel and let's see if we can't get this straightened out. We'll grab our grid, put our grid down on the hoop, and I'm gonna make sure I'm lining it up with the grooves on the surface of the hoop. You can feel up under it through the towel uh, where the nod nodules are. And let me move the camera a little bit closer. Hopefully you guys can see a little bit better from this angle and get you focused in the right place so here is where we're going to uh, show you closer how it's off still a little bit um, it's not quite centered where it needs to be but we're going to work with that um, and shift it around to get this right 
and now we have it and I'm gonna check and make sure that the nodule is there and it's lining up let me get this stabilizer out of the way we can actually do that later uh, to make it easier to feel the nodule so again we're gonna line this up with the nodule um, even though now looking at it it's off center again so let's center that back where it was all right and it feels like it's pretty much where it needs to be so now let's go ahead since we got it lined up everything's looking great it's centered and place our magnets so the first magnet we're going to put up here and the second magnet we're going to put over in this corner uh, and the hoop grid has grooves in it as you can see uh, so that you could place the magnets without um, locking down the grid itself and we're going to add the other magnet and finally let me take the hoop grid off first since the magnets are in the way and now that we have the hoop grid off we're going to go ahead and put the last magnet and as you see we're hooped we got the towel in everything straight everything looks good it's still a little flimsy here uh, without the stabilizer so what you can do is give it a little tug here and there to tighten it up you can take a magnet off to tighten it some just be careful not to take it too far out of line put your magnets back stretch it not a lot you want to just barely smooth it so that it straightens out some and uh, give it a little adjustment on the opposite side as well make sure that the rest of the towel is out of the way and we're going to adjust up here a little make sure that everything looks straight and put our magnet back all right so here we have it completely hooped we're going to check with the grid and it still lines up which is good awesome so let us uh, get ready to go ahead and put this on the machine we're going to go ahead and get the machine in place pull it a little bit closer make sure that you can see let me adjust this a little bit so that you can see better all right and now we're going to slide this on the machine how easy and effortless is that i'm going to clip it in place and make sure that all of the towel is out of the way and it locks in just like the regular hoop and now that we have everything straight and everything looks good uh, we're going to go ahead and I'm just gonna pick a simple monogram letter um, off of the machine but meanwhile let me stick this uh, stabilizer this is the tear away for the towel we're gonna put that under the hoop uh, float it in other words there we go and uh, that way we still have our stabilizer so let me get a letter out of here all right and we're gonna go with an E standard E there it is we're gonna make sure it's large and then we're going to uh, go ahead I have my lavender thread up here I'm going to leave the lavender it's my favorite color and it's going to be an E for my name so I'm gonna leave it on uh, the machine all right and then get this wrapped around and threaded with the automatic threader and now that we have our thread in place and lock the foot down and everything looks great we're going to stitch out our e And we're done we are done and that was simple to do look at how easy that was such a 
beautiful letter E and I didn't put the water soluble over the top the solvy I should have uh, because you can kind of see it sunk in and the stitches a little bit but you know no big deal uh, as you can see it could have been better if I had have used this stuff on top but I didn't um, so let's take our magnets off and unhoop which is easy to do now you just take it apart just like that all done and we're gonna tear the tear away off the back easy snatch it right off no big deal we'll toss that to the side and now to get rid of this purple line uh, we're going to use my magic sauce <laughs> that I call it where I fill the bottle up to here with regular water and then the rest I add like a cap full of vinegar to help the line disappear easier look at that without rubbing it just goes away much easier uh, without having to rub it like you would if it was just regular water and that's it that's our e how awesome did that turn out and it wasn't difficult at all was it um, just lay it flat on the embroidery hoop and stick it down and there we have simple simple to do towel with no hoop burn everything looks great so that's our magnetic hoop so what do you think did the magnetic hoop live up to your expectations i hope it did i actually enjoy using this and i'm pretty sure that i'll make a lot of projects using this magnetic hoop it only opens up my area my field of embroidery and makes it easier for me to embroider on objects so i want to thank you for joining me today as we did a review um, and unboxing actually on our magnetic hoop that is now available for the 4x4 embroidery machine user. That is something to celebrate you guys. Uh, this hoop is available on Amazon right now. I do have a link in the description below, uh, an affiliate link to my store and you don't have to go through my affiliate link you can look up 4x4 magnetic hoop and purchase however if you purchase through my affiliate link it does uh, allow me to get a kickback for uh, showing the hoop and sending you guys to go purchase it so I hope you all enjoy the video today if you did please give us a thumbs up I definitely appreciate it that lets me know I'm doing my job and also lets YouTube know that you all enjoy the content here on our channel also if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. We do uh, a lot of tutorial videos on embroidery equipment, on doing embroidery projects, as well as bling projects. And we also go live on Sundays, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, where we answer embroidery questions uh, and help you guys get the most out of your embroidery projects. So again, I want to thank you wholeheartedly for joining us today. And until the next time we see you, we hope you have happy embroidering.